Begin by fabricating the flat steel. Take the outside measurement of the frame and add 1 8 inch. Cut the steel to this measurement. Use the handed templates to mark the ends of the flat steel. Remove the templates and fabricate the ends. Dry fit the mold bracket over the end of the flat steel. We'll be showing you how to maul a two-wide, two-high assembly with one vertical structural maul. For reference, we'll be using the standard Marvin alphanumeric mulling labels throughout. The top row of any mold assembly is the A row, while the row below is the B, and so on. The first window on the left as seen from the exterior are designated with a number starting with 1. Use a hacksaw, rotary tool, or oscillating tool to remove material from the corners of the individual units. Remove about 1 8 inch of material from the accessory kerf that runs perpendicular to the direction of the mull. Remove any shim blocks along the mulls. Also, remove shim blocks from the top and bottom corners where they will interfere with the mull bracket. Establish an exterior plane along the sill. Use a laser level or snap line. This will be especially helpful for larger assemblies. Position the B1 unit in the opening. Plumb and fasten the unit in the opening. In some cases, you may prefer to assemble any standard mulls first and then apply the structural steel mull. Here, we'll be showing you how to assemble the mull in the opening, one unit at a time. If not done from the factory, fasten the mull pin on top of the B1 unit. Fasten the mull pin to the top of the B1 unit. Apply a bead of sealant to the exterior of the frame. Set the A1 unit on top of the B1 unit. Plumb and fasten the jam. Fasten the A1 unit to the mull pin. If you are mulling a casement unit above another assembly, you will need to fasten the hardware base to the mull using the one and a quarter inch trilobular screws. Pre-drill with a number 23 drill bit. Attach the mull caps and seat with a rubber mallet. Temporarily position the mull bracket on the sill. Fit the end of the mull steel into the hole in the bracket. Then position the steel so it fits tight against the step in the frame. Adjust the frame and bracket so that the unit is placed on the correct exterior plane and the bracket is square in the opening. You might have to pre-drill with a 1 8 inch bit. Pre-drill through the sill bracket and then inject sealant into the screw holes. Fasten the bracket with the installation screws. Slide the head jam mull bracket in place so that it fits over the tab in the mull steel. Fasten the bracket to the rough opening with the three inch screws provided. Using the installation holes as a guide, drill through the mull steel with the number 23 drill bit. Fasten the steel to the frame with the half inch screws. Remove the clamps from the frame. Apply sealant to the bottom of the first assembly along the exterior of the B1 frame. Run the sealant just past the horizontal mull. 
set the B2 unit in place. Clamp the unit to the previous assembly. Adjust the frame until it is on the proper exterior plane, then fasten the sill at every installation hole. and fasten the jam. If not attached from the factory, apply the horizontal mole pin on top of the B2 unit. Apply sealant to the exterior of the assembly. Carefully position the A2 unit in place. Clamp the unit to the previous assembly. Attach the frame to the rough opening jam. Fasten the frame to the mole pin. Attach the mole caps and seat with a rubber mallet. It's a good idea to clean any sealant squeeze out at this time. Using a drill with a stop collar, bore into the steel with a number 23 drill bit. Drill at every installation hole location. Take care not to bore through the steel and into the opposite frame. Fasten the A2 and B2 units to the mole steel using the half inch screws provided. Complete shimming and fastening around the entire perimeter using the pre-drilled installation holes. 